Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee Break. My name is Matt Warbeck. With me today, we have Jamie Campbell Cushney. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Delicious coffee. Um, so Jamie, maybe just let's start off with just uh, letting people know that uh, what you do here at Sherpa. I'm the art director. Mm. I lead the creative team, help them come up with concepts and get all the work done on time, make sure it's uh, it's done to make the client happy and sell all the goods. So, <laughs> um, so today uh, we have you down just to talk about um, kind of your hot take on maybe what three to four um, common design mistakes that you see with non-designers or beginner designers. So, okay. do you mind if we? Jump into them. Yeah, for sure. Um, I find the first one, yeah. I find with juniors a lot of the time they they do something and they fall in love with the idea and they just don't explore more after that. And I think it's really important to um, think things through, think of different ways to do something, different concepts and different style treatments, and it, it'll help their work get better. Get better. And yeah. I find, um, not here at Sherpa, but like a general, some designers or non-designers kind of have that bag, those bag of, or, or that, that bucket of tricks that they like to pull yeah. from. Yeah. And do you find people kind of pigeonhole themselves doing that? Or? Yeah, especially when they're, when they're early in their career. And that, like that point in your career, you should be exploring lots of different types of styles. And mm. once you kind of master the things that make them great it'll turn into you'll start to develop your own style mm -hmm. that incorporate different parts of all of it and it'll be something really unique so it's really important to explore everything like that cool and so do you have a couple more sure um, number two. um a lot of time with juniors i find they don't have the quite a critical eye for typography mm. for like minute details there's a lot of things I know when I'm looking through portfolios for if we're hiring, there's certain things I look for, like orphans and widows, when people copy fit, and uh, that's important to any agency. Quickly, what is copy fit? Um, just like the way they flow copy into a layout. So there's things like orphans and widows, which, you know, if you have like one word hanging at the end of a paragraph, it looks kind of off, it's distracting for the eye. and lots of juniors don't think to look for those and there's ways to avoid it so that's one thing um, sometimes they kind of stick to one font they have one font that they think is perfect for everything and then helvetica they, right always the helvetica time. always or gotham yeah so they they have their fonts that they go to and yeah it's just important to explore everything that's out there yeah. you're new to the game and just see what works for you right. and maybe Another another tip? Um, yeah, I think in terms of layout, contrast is always great. Sometimes people don't think of how a layout's affected by lights and darks, and it's also important for anyone with a disability. They need that contrast to help them read something, so it's important to keep in mind. That's right. We, did, we just recently did a day-long seminar. Yeah on accessibility for like design accessibility yeah well and so one of them was contrast wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah. you it's important to say you're building a website and the button is like a kelly green with a dark green like emerald green text over top of it um, one of the things so for accessibility there's going to be legislation coming in so any federal government website can be fined if they're not meeting accessibility standards. Mm -hmm. And something with the green button, like if you don't have the proper ratio of light to dark in the button, you can fail that test. So that's just one example of something you need to watch for. Yeah, great to know. Cool. Yeah. And any any other tips? Um, I don't. <laughs> Think so. You know, think so. <laughs> Not that She's I can think of right now. She knows about I know design, everything. Right? No, no, no. Yeah. No, these are really good tips for people that are non designers or people that are new to the industry. So thank you so much thank for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. See you guys next time.